so we'll go to mm01 here i will select the industry sector so let's say i will from it is okay zrwp then i will select views okay so i will select basic data one purchasing view counting data storage data i will click on next here i will enter my plan my plan was pk01 storage location was sl01 and see material uh, basic data one has been popped up so here we enter the description let's say this material is um, iron iron pins two inches okay so here we will enter basic unit of measure so this is the required entry so basic and unit of measure will be let's say inches uh, uh, pieces acre so this i will enter as inch oh yeah material group so material group which we have created in omsf decode so that then we can enter the old material suppose so in the basic data we can enter the gross weight of the material let's say 0.2 unit of weight we can give as gram okay so single iron pin weight is 0.2 gram click on enter then as we have selected basic data 1 basic data 2 ok 0 0.2 sorry sir 2 grams right not point two. as we have selected a weight as g if it was kg then 0 0.2 ok then uh, we have purchasing view in purchasing view we will enter the purchase group which, which we have created earlier fk1 is our purchase group Then coming to accounting data so in accounting data valuation class is important so i will select valuation class over here so for this we will create a new video separate video for valuation class because it is important topic and i will let you know what is the valuation class in the next video so here as as i've showed you earlier is the slide like a price control indicator which we can give over here so one is moving average price which is v and one is standard price so i have selected the moving average price and then i will enter the price let's say it's 20 rupees okay okay so this has been done you are about to exit we have here to save this and see material has been created 